lesbian, bisexual, transgender, it feels like they're all boxes and categories that you have to fit into and they can't change. When I learned about being two-spirit, it felt more natural to me. It felt like it acknowledged more than the surface of somebody's identity. And I feel like it encompasses also a way of carrying yourself in the world. What was working before colonization is this practice of passing on of you know stories that um, allowed for people to learn about each other, to appreciate each other, and to live in a way that everyone felt like they were safe and belonged. Okay, so you can watch more of that video um, and share that with your students. There's also I've put all kinds of resources here: uh, Two Spirit People, First Nations, Ontario Aboriginal HIV AIDS Strategy. Um, gender neutral pronouns by the 519, inclusive name tags, how to handle harassment, and the TDSB equity, um, send the right message to youth, Planned Parenthood. Okay, there's lots here. Proud to be queer and Muslim. Okay, there's Rainbow Railroad. Okay to be me, 519, lots of great resources here, Trans Pride Canada, Trans Pulse, and there's also lots of support groups here for youth and families, so you can check any of these out. Um, there's videos, and these posters, you can download these, copy them, put them on your, um, put them on your Google Classrooms. He does a lot of advocacy work for homeless, trans homeless youth um, to, make, to make shelters safer because they're not always safe for trans youth. Okay, lots of great authors. Really important to put all of this up. Okay, there's lots of different flags. Some of these flags you might know, others you might not know. The progress flag is really great bisexual flag, pansexual flag, asexual flag. There, there's so many here, polyamory flag. You can put these up and have, they're actually in the quiz too. In the, um, show me the game, oops. Okay, so there's a trivia game which you can play with your students and it goes over some of this stuff um, so that goes over what the flags are which flag is it? Who's this gender fluid celebrity? So you can celebrate people by putting them in a cahoot. Um, what flag is this? And I have some funny answers too, like it's the curling flag. No, it's an intersex flag. Okay, so what's the difference between Pink Day and Day of Pink? Lots of great stuff in there. Uh, okay to be me for GSAs. This is specifically for remote learning. Um, celebrating Ramadan, really important to recognize that a lot of our students are fasting right now um, and they might be tired, so allowing them to have meetings in the afternoon or do their schoolwork in the afternoon. And there's games here. This is more for music and drama. It's me doing a silent movie moment and then my students did one. And then they held a workshop on remote learning. Okay, so lots of cool stuff and resources here that you can use for remote learning. There's the rainbow horse game that we played. If you go to Scratch, this is online to make games and there's also tutorials, but there's tons of LGBT content. All I did was search LGBTQ and this is what came up. Okay, so there's lots of stuff out there. It's really incredible. Disability awareness. This is on my site as well. If you just click on the top, um, there's different pages. This one's on disability awareness, so you can ask your students these questions and then watch the video. This, this video is incredible. There's tons of stuff. People who are uh, people who are disabled. So there's some role models. There's some really great videos here. Okay, danger of a single story, Chimamanda. It's also great. This actually applies. Sorry, I want to go back to that for a second. This applies to, to if you're talking about autism, 
you're talking to trans folks, talking to the LGBT community, this video is really great to watch because it talks about that danger of a single story. So if you know one person who is trans, that doesn't mean that you know everybody who is trans or that everybody who is trans feels that way. I might feel a certain way, other people feel differently. Same with people, um, people who have autism. Um, just because you know one person with autism doesn't mean everybody is the same. Okay? And that's why that's, this is up here with this. Um, but this is more talking about race and her own experiences. Just an incredible speaker, writer, and uh, video. There's an inspirational women's trivia that you can use. Goes over a bunch of different questions of inspirational women. So feel free to use that with your students. There's First Nations Pride. Okay, so this one, there's some videos here. I'm celebrating First Nations folks, that video that we saw there. And you can add more. Asian heritage. So really the importance of intersectionality. So when you're having Black Heritage Month or Chinese Heritage Month, why not combine them? Okay, because there were, um, the Chinese were in Trinidad and then Katherine Johnson is getting an honorary degree, so great. Okay, so have intersectionality. Challenging, challenges and tips for running a GSA. Um, so I think I mentioned this before, but you can have headphones and chat for students who are not out at home. You can share the info with homeroom teachers for students to join. Um, I also put up this because it's really important to have courageous conversations and Glenn Singleton's website is really incredible to in order to have courageous conversations when it comes to race and this can be extended to the LGBTQ community and the importance of intersectionality. And here's some ways to stay connected with EFO. Okay, so there's lots of great resources that EFO has. There's a few, lots more. Okay, so this will all be up on the website so that you can access it. So thank you so much. If you have further questions or um, anything you'd like support with, feel free to contact me. It's jordan.applebaum at tdsb.on.ca is my email. And uh, you can also um, contact me through the resource page. Thank you so much and have a great day. Stay well, stay safe and celebrate diversity. Thank you.